Formal education will make you a living. Self-education will make you a fortune. Formal education is standard, structured, and systematic education. It is what you learn in schools and colleges. There's nothing wrong with formal education, but it is designed to get you a job or make you a living. It is not designed to make you financially free or mentally strong. It is designed to keep you part of the system. There are limits to how far you can go with formal education. It is for people who want limited risk and not much responsibility. Self-education knows no limits and that is why it has the potential to make you a fortune. Self-education can not only make you a fortune, it can also make you fulfilled because it gives you the choice to educate yourself on things that will enhance the quality of your life. Think of all the greatest entrepreneurs of today and in history. These are self-educated people. They're all likely formally educated as well. But for all successful people, self-education never ends. Not after school, not after success or failure. Life is the classroom. And the only goal is to learn and to grow every day. The major value in life is not what you get. The major value in life is what you become. The major question to ask is not, what am I getting here? The major question to ask is, what am I becoming here? It's never the material success that gives us the most value. It is the self-pride that comes when you extend yourself. It is not the money or the house that will bring you the joy. It is the pride in knowing you earn the money and the house. That is where the value is. And you won't get the money or the house without it. You won't get anything more until you become more. If you don't design your own life plan, chances are you'll fall into someone else's life plan. And guess what they have planned for you? Not much. If you're waiting for others to hand you success, you'll be waiting with your hand out until your dying day. If you want anything in life, the responsibility falls on only one person, and that person is you. No one owes you anything. If you want it, you must plan for it. If you want it, you must sacrifice for it. If you want it, you must work for it. Don't wait for anyone to give you a handout or a magic map to achieve the life you want. You have to educate and execute your own life plan to live the life you want to live. You cannot change your destination overnight, but you can change your direction overnight. Nothing worthwhile is built overnight. The overnight success is a myth. But one thing that can change instantly is your attitude. You can decide in an instant that your life will change and if you keep that promise to yourself, that could be the moment that everything does change. You can decide enough is enough. You can decide no more. You can decide from this moment. It only takes a moment. If you are not willing to risk the unusual, you will have to settle for the ordinary. Life is a risk. It is a risk to turn down a safe job to go after your dreams. The risk is failure. The risk is embarrassment. The risk is suffering. But perhaps the greater risk is taking the option that will almost certainly lead to regret down the track. Regret is almost guaranteed when you choose an easy option that is far less than your potential or less than the quality of life you dreamed for yourself. I guess it is pretty obvious that every great success story on this earth was a great risk taker. Great rewards can only come following great risks. You can't win the raffle unless you have a ticket. And in the game of success, the ticket is risk. It is putting yourself out there, putting your fears and reputation on the line, knowing there is a possibility of failure and being brave enough to try anyway. If you don't like how things are, change it. You're not a tree. Many people complain about their situation when they have the power to change it. Whether the change is going to be comfortable or not, if you have the power to change and you want to change, change! 
Perhaps the greatest destruction of the human spirit is when we go against our own intuition. Worse is when we go against our intuition, then complain and blame others for our situation. If you want to change, change. Take responsibility for where you are and trust you have the capabilities to learn and grow enough to get where you want to go. Either you run the day or the day runs you. Don't say, if I could, I would. Say, if I can, I will. When it comes to how we live our lives, all of us have two choices. We can choose to take control of the day, get on the front foot and believe we can change our reality. Or we can be at the mercy of circumstance, believing we can only respond to reality. I challenge you to find any great human being who allowed life to dictate their reality. Great people, happy people, successful people take control of the day. They take control of each moment and try to create a better next moment in each and every action they take. Mentality is everything. You really do decide how reality is served to you. Do you create your own reality? Or do you wait for life or circumstances to tell you what kind of day you're going to have? We must all suffer one of two things. The pain of discipline or the pain of regret or disappointment. Success is nothing more than a few simple disciplines practiced every day. Discipline is the bridge between goals and accomplishment. For every disciplined effort, there is a multiple reward. There perhaps is no greater single word when it comes to achievement, growth, success, and even happiness. Discipline is everything, and in discipline, there are many rewards. Those with the discipline to follow through consistently are those who will succeed in the end. The discipline to say no when you need to. The discipline to say yes when you don't want to. The discipline to work hard. The discipline to be consistent in all areas of your life. It's not the huge actions that matter long term. It is the tiny but frequent daily disciplines compounded over years that will lead to your greatest success. Success is neither magical or mysterious. Success is the natural consequence of consistently applying the basic fundamentals. You don't get paid for the hour. You get paid for the value you bring to the hour. Those who are paid the most are paid the most because they bring the most value to their fellow humans. There's nothing magical or mysterious about success. It's pretty straightforward, uninteresting and unexciting. And that is precisely why most people give up. It's the consistency that brings success, not the magic. There's no secrets. Just keep showing up every day, improving, growing, and adding value, and eventually you will. No secrets. Just keep showing up every day, improving, growing, and adding value, and eventually you will be rewarded. Don't wish it were easier. Wish you were better. Most people wish life were easier, but life only gets easier when you push yourself to be better. Don't even wish you were better. Be prepared to work for your better. Be prepared to earn your better. Happiness is not something you postpone for the future. It is something you design for the present. And now we come to the most important piece, happiness, fulfillment emotional stability. Happiness, says Jim Rohn, is not something you postpone for the future. You don't put it off for one day when, when I get that car or when I am a millionaire or billionaire or attract that one person into my life. Happiness is something you design, something you decide for the present, for right now. You decide every day to be happy by the choices you make every day. You decide what kind of day you are going to have by the time you allocate every morning. Are you rushing out the door stressed and agitated? Or are you making time for gratitude, meditation, learning? Things that make you feel good. Things that keep your mind on the positive. 
One day will never come if your primary goals are materialistic. Because one day always turns into more and never enough. Decide you have enough. Live and feel like you have more than enough. And life will always deliver to you more. Decide that the primary importance of your life is not material things, but feelings. How you feel should always be the most important because that is why people chase material things in the first place. They think they will feel better in having them. Just decide to feel better first. Then you will always have enough. Take care of your body. It's the only place you have to live. An important message in a world where not many seem to care what enters their body. Of equal importance to your mental health is your physical health. And they're often inseparable for a truly quality life. Treat your body like you would the greatest love of your life. Feed it with nutrients that will make you feel alive, giving you more energy to live the life you deserve to live. Some people plant in the spring and leave in the summer. If you're signed up for a season, see it through. You don't have to stay forever, but at least stay until you see it through. If you signed up for a better life, see it through. If you've signed up for a successful business, see it through. Don't quit before your success starts to come into season. If you signed up for a healthier, stronger body, see it through. It takes more than one season to create a great life. Whatever you're going through, see it through. Character is a quality that embodies many important traits such as integrity, courage, perseverance, confidence, and wisdom. Unlike your fingerprints that you are born with and can't change, character is something that you create within yourself and must take responsibility for changing.